Okay, let's resume with part two. If you guys missed the first part of this collection, I'll go ahead and leave it linked down below. Um, but I left off um, right here over. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the rest of these MAC lipsticks that are up in front right here. So we've got another Viva Glam Nikki. I should swatch this. I swatched it already because I think I do have two of these, which I forgot about. And then we've got Lip Intensity Lipstick in Driftwood, which is a a brown, a kind of a mauvey brown shade. And then this was from the Fruit and Something Summer Collection. First, love at first bite. See how similar that is to Nikki's. A little bit more red. And then we have got, this is the Makeup Art James Cagliardos Lipstick in Almondine. Right there. Here's another MAC Snob, which I go over. I've been through several of those. This is a Huggable Lip Color in What a Feeling. Right here. The Huggables are such nice lipsticks from MAC. Really like them. This was from the Mariah Carey collection. This is called uh, Bit of Bubbly. It's a really yellow, pale, pale nude. Love the packaging on those ones. And then here is a Sheen Supreme lipstick in Got a Dash, which I really like this as well. From the Mariah Carey collection, this one is called McNizzle. <laughs> I really liked that Mariah Carey collection. And then the other one is called Darling, which I think this was my favorite of them. It's kind of a pinkier nude. Right there. And we've got Flamingo, which is an oldie, but a goodie. It's such a pretty color. And then another one of the Lip Tensities. This one is in Medium Rare. Right there. And another Huggable, and this one is in I'm In. Just kind of a little bit more of a mauvey pink. I've got another one from the Padma Lakshmi collection, and this is Apricot Gold. Right there. A couple more Huggables. This one is called Soulful. That is so pretty. Honestly, though. And then we have got Teddy Pink. It's a little bit of a bright pink, but these are a little more sheer, so they're wearable. We have got Extra Sweet. This is so pretty. I wore this a ton. That one's Extra Sweet. And then this last one here is a Sheen Supreme, and it's in Royal Azalea. It's a pretty purpley pink. I wore this a ton, too. I think I've got a couple of those. Here's another Viva Glam Gaga which I love, love, love. I think I think at one point I had purchased five of these and I think I have two left. I used to wear that so much. And then we've got Happy Hibiscus, which is a very pale white pink. That's the um, Sheen Supreme. And then another Sheen Supreme in Behave Yourself. Oh gosh, I wore the heck out of this one too. Gosh, I love these ones. And then we have got a long wear lip cream, and this is in To the Future. It's a, pr a brown shade. Then here's a Mac and Caitlyn Jenner collection. This one is called Rocket. Right there. I'm not decluttering a ton of Mac lipsticks because I did a, a, a pretty good declutter not that long ago, but this one is Arrowhead lipstick. That's a matte. It's the more um, silicone matte than the drying matte, but it's pretty pale. If it wasn't for that pretty packaging, I'd probably declutter that one. This one is called Pleasure Fruit. Right there. Then we have got Love Long Distance. This is a pretty mauve. It's more sheer than I remember it, at least. Very wearable, purpley pink. Then we've got another Behave Yourself, which, oh, that's such a pretty color. 
I'm glad I'm doing this. It's really reminding me. I'm going to be reaching for some different colors here. Um, then we've got a Pro Longwear, and this is in Dress It Up. I think I already swatched up one of these. Yes, I did. Did I? Did I? And then this one is Blossom Culture. Right there. And then these last three are rounding out the MAC lipsticks. I've got Asian Flower. This is a pretty lilac. And then we have got a Pro Longwear, and this one is in over, over something. The, the little print is kind of over the lettering there. It's a nude pink. That's so pretty. And then we've got, this one is called You're Perfect Already. This is a nude. And that is the end of the MAC lipsticks. I got two Smashbox ones right here. I've been through, I think, three of the Smashbox pout lipsticks. I used to wear this so much. This is the new packaging. This is a newer lipstick, as you can see right there. Um, I think I've got the other, like, I've got one that's almost used up and then another one that are in a bag, but I love this. It's one of the easiest to wear, like, baby pink colors. It's like a warm baby pink. And then Pretty Social, which is also a really wearable kind of pink nude. I really like these two lipsticks a lot. So those are from Smashbox. And then let's get into some ColourPop lipsticks here. We have got What's Your Sign, which these are really great affordable um, lipsticks, the ColourPop ones. What are they, six bucks? Carousel, which I wore this a ton. And then we have got Tiptoe, another brown one, kind of brown nude. Appy, that's very similar to that one. Oops, they just launched some uh, more new lipsticks too. And then we have got Uno Mas, right there, and Stone Fox. And then the last one from ColourPop, Electric Feel, right there. These next three are from L'Oreal. They're the color Shines. This is a relatively new um, formula from L'Oreal, and these are awesome too. Super easy to wear, really pretty colors. So this one is 912 Dewy Petal, right there. We've got 910 Shining Peach, which is more like a nude peach. And then the last one of those I have is 916 Luminous Coral. Right there. Those are from L'Oreal. Then these are all the old school uh, Too Faced lipsticks. Are the older ones they've since you know come out with new ones. I think they still have some of these on sale on the website. But I really like this formula from Too Faced. So we've got Nude Beach. Right there. Then we have got Razzle Dazzle Rose. Oh, this one is coming out the tube. Razzle Dazzle Rose, because I keep them upside down. And then we've got Taffy. Right there. This next one is called Clueless. Gosh, that's pretty. Right there. Bon Bon. Is a really pretty coral. Then we have got Shimmering Marshmallow Bunny. I think this came in a holiday collection like four years ago. That's such a pretty color too. Uh, Unicorn Tears, which is a really fun holographic kind of blue shade. I like to use that to kind of mix with some pinks. Uh, Shimmering Naked Dolly. Right there. Then we've got Naked Dolly, right there. Marshmallow Bunny, which is one of the very first ones of this line that I purchased. I think I got this when I was down in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, Angel Tears, which was from a couple of the collection not that long ago. It's a pretty shimmery one. And then the last one of those two face lipsticks is uh, Juicy Melons. This is another one that um, was one of the first ones that I got. <laughs> Juicy Melons. <laughs> so I just swatched all my Tom Ford lipsticks and I wasn't recording so I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. <laughs> 
So the very first um, Tom Ford lipsticks that I ever purchased were these two lip shines, the lip color shines, and I got them when I was down in Vegas. Um, these have not changed in smell, color, or consistency. They've been good, and they're the very first ones that I ever bought. I highly recommend. Ooh, I highly recommend the shine formula. Um, as you can see, I've used that quite a bit. So this is number one, Chastity, and it's such a pretty shimmering baby pink color. And then the other one is number two, and it's in the shade Smitten, right there. Super easy to wear, beautiful colors. And then I've got two of these longer white ones. I've got the lip, Ultra Shine Lip Color in number five, Lavish, right here. And I have got the number, number two, Mystique. Right here, that was one of those core kind of lipsticks. It's kind of just a nude with a moisturizing kind of core in it. And then I've got five, I've got six of the original lipsticks. I decluttered a lot of these uh, lipsticks because they just went off. Some of them were not very old at all. All of these ones are fine. This color, I'm, I just don't think I'm gonna wear. It's one of the mattes, which, I'm not a big on the matte formula. They are a more comfortable silicone matte, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. It's number four, Pussycat. I never wear it, um, and it's still good, so might as well pass it on. Number seven, Pink Dusk. I do really like this shade, it's beautiful. And then we have got number nine, First Time. This is also one of the mattes. Then there is number one, Spanish Pink. This is, I think, it's funny because this is like the first Tom Ford lipstick, like the uh, this style lipstick that I ever bought. This one is still good. I have no problems with this guy. And it is actually one of my favorite shades from Tom Ford in the lipstick line too. So then we've got number three, Pink Tees, which is also one of the mattes. And then we have got number eight, which is Flamingo, and I love this color. Sopa dupa. That's Flamingo. Now we'll get into these white standard lipsticks. A lot of these are summer collection ones. Number eight, Incorrigible. This is the lip color Sheer. Right there. These are a lot of pretty, uh, really pretty summer shades. Number one, Moonlight. This is a mixer, or like a topper. It's kind of just a shimmering white and then they also said that you could kind of use it on your face as a highlighter. I feel like it's too thick for that but uh, number two pink dune. The shimmering bronze shade. And then we've got number four summer fling. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. Right there. And then the last one of those is number seven paradiso which is a pretty coral. Right there. Now we'll go ahead and get into the Lips and Boys right here, which uh, another thing, none of my Lips and Boys lipsticks have gone off either. They're all still great. So just some of them original ones are funky. Um, so we've got number 46, Colin. Then we have got number 21, Alexander. Number 17, Rosie. This is one of the newer ones. Right there. The original Lips and Boys came out like during my birthday and I remember I just kind of went ham. <laughs> Number 16, Ian. Number 41, Olivier, which is, this is my favorite Lips and Boys lipstick and I've got a few of them. It's so pretty. So that is Olivier. Then we have got number 29, Jack, which, you know, I'm not crazy about Jack. I never wear Jack. I think I'm going to put Jack in the maybe pile over that way. Um, number 42, Julian. This is beautiful. Right here. It's kind of a mauve brown. And number 51, Ansel. Ansel's gorgeous, too. So pretty. Here's another Olivier. And then 56 Louis. Right here. 
We have a bright blue base pink. 57 Jude. Then we've got number 17 Flynn. I love Flynn. Flynn's a good one. Number 11, Kirill, which is a silver shade. I used to be like, I still am. There's something about mixing a silver with a pink, like, then that's kind of what I use this for. I would like, something about that mixture. I just, I like it. <laughs> so that one's number 11, Kirill. Um, number 22, Patrick. Patrick's beautiful too. So that stunning corally color. Then we've got uh, number eight, Dakota, which is a newer one. Just a beautiful, shiny pink. And then we've got 31, Luca, which is a gorgeous tangerine, shimmering tangerine. And the last one of Lips and Boys is 54, Austin. Right there, just kind of a shimmering nude color. So those are all of the Tom Ford. Now let's dip into some YSL. I've got a few different uh, variations of their lipsticks. Here's the Volupt Sheer Candy in number nine. Oh, I always forget how much I like these. Super easy to throw on, super hydrating. So that's number nine. Then we've got the Rouge Volupt Shine in number 15. Followed by a Rouge Volupt in number one. This is like, I feel like this one's iconic <laughs> and this packaging with YSL, YSL is so beautiful. Rouge Volupt number 13. Volupt Sheer Candy in number 8. Volupt Tint and Balm in number 9. This is the one that had the little lips in the middle. This one kind of stains your lips a little bit. Number 51, Rouge Volupt Shine. Right there. Number 7, Rouge Volupt. This is a beautiful color too. I think this is almost used up. And then we've got Rouge Volupt Shine number 8. Right there. Gosh, aren't those some pretty colors? Then before I get into Charlotte Tilbury, I do have one other YSL lipstick right here. This is the Rouge Pure Couture in number 70. And it had this stunning packaging. I think this was from Holidays last year and it's got stars on it. It's just a beautiful nude color. And that's number 70. Getting into some Charlotte Tilbury, we've got Bitch Perfect, which is one of the very first Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I ever purchased, and I love it. I was looking for my nude cape the other day, and I couldn't find it, and I still can't find it. I'm like, it better be in a bag somewhere, because I really love that one. Um, this one is Live It Up. Then we have got Secret Salma. One of her matte lipsticks. And then we have got Sunset Lover. This is a pretty shade. It's a matte as well. This one is Miss Kensington. Which is a matte. Um, Confession. Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks also have a similar formula to Tom Ford, but I never have a problem with any of my Charlotte Tilburys uh, going off, so, and they're cheaper too. So this one's Penelope Pink. And then we've got 1975 Red. This came out with the Norman Parkinson collection, I believe. We've got the infamous Pillow Talk. This is in the matte version. Followed by Blushing Dream. Right there. Velvet Underground. This is kind of a bright one. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that little Tom Ford mini because um, I kinda like that color better. Uh, Coachella Coral, I love this one. I've worn quite a bit of Coachella Coral. This is one of the originals that I 
purchased before they were available in the United States. I had them shipped from across the pond. <laughs> um, then we have got Valentine right here. Gosh, this is a pretty color right there. I need to leave that out. I forgot about that. I use it a lot too. Um, Rose Kiss. And then we have got uh, Kidman's Kiss. This is beautiful too. And then the last one in my, probably probably my, my most used is Kim KW. That's all that's left. I, I should probably get another one. I love this with her uh, lip cheat in um, Iconic Nude. It's just stunning. So those are all the Charlotte Tilburys. Getting on to some Pat McGrath over here. These are some of her original in the black packaging. We've got number 404, Sextrology, which is a nude color. One of my faves from her. And then we have got a Peep Show number 16. Love that one too. And then we have got uh, 406 Valletta. Uh, excuse that diesel engine outside, please. Very similar. Here are two of the balms. This one is number 524 Passion Flower. I have got the nude one in my purse. <laughs> you guys, I, I said in my, I've got a few in my purse. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of lip products in my purse. <laughs> This one is number 523 Successy. And then the other uh, tinted balm, like I said, is in my purse. And then I've got the gold sparkly lip balm, which I love, is in there too. And then because I had to have one in every color, I got these. Um, I have got a duplicate of the shade 1995. So I've got um, that one in a different pile because I don't need two. But that's 1995. I originally had it in the black packaging. And then I've got 107 Omi. Right there, that's pretty dark for my liking, but you never know, you never know. Number 48, Christy. Right there. This top always gets like makeup dusty because it's really close to where I do my makeup. Um, I'm, I can't wait to alcohol clean Spit shine. <laughs> this is the whole thing. Now we're getting into Clinique, which are this is this whole row right here. So we'll start in the back. I think I'm gonna declutter uh, some of these guys. I love these lipsticks from Clinique, though the formula on these is outstanding. So we've got number 11, Wow Pop, which is a pretty bright pink. Then we have got Bear Pop number two is a little bit more sheer than it actually looks and then we have number four beige pop which I used to wear this a ton right there this next one is nude pop which is just a little bit shinier than beige pop then we've got sweet pop right there and number 14, Plum Pop. I'm actually gonna declutter Plum Pop. And then we've got number 16, Grape Pop. I'm gonna declutter that guy too. Uh, Fab Pop, which is one of my faves. Love this one. And then Melon Pop is one of my other favorites from this line. I've worn that guy a lot. It's kind of a coral. And then these three are from the uh, Clinique Glaze Sheer Lip Color line. I've got number six, uh, Bubblegum Pop. So these ones are more sheer. It's Bubblegum Pop. Number seven, Sugar Plum Pop. And then the last one is number two, Melon Drop Pop. <laughs> These names, I've used that one quite a bit too. It's kind of, it's kind of in rough shape. <laughs> but that one is number two, Melon Drop Pop. Getting into some NARS Audacious lipsticks. I've got Anna, 
right here. And I've got Vanessa right there. And I'm actually going to declutter both of those uh, lipsticks. Oh gosh, you guys, I have five animals in the house, my apologies. <laughs> um, then we have got um, Natalie. These are the, did I say this already? These are the NARS Audacious lipsticks. I really like Natalie. Did this just fall out? I keep these upside down so I can read the names, but um, that is Natalie. And then we've got Dominique. Dominique used to be all the rage. Oh gosh. Um I think I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of Dominique. I've seen plenty of more wearable shades like that in when I was swatching the MAC ones. Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. I love this one. We'll be keeping that guy. And then we've got Raquel, which I also really like, the shade. And then I've got Julie, which I really like this one too. So keeping four of those. Now we're getting into Chanel. I've got, what, five, seven? Seven Chanel lipsticks. So we've got number 45, La Duray. Oh, I remember when this came out. This is kind of similar to that uh, Dominique shade. Maybe a little bit more brown. But I'm gonna keep that one. 139 Flurry. flurry. Got some pretty sparkles in it. It's kind of a rose. Number 91, Sed Huisante. Sed Huisante. Right there. 154, Badine. I really like this color. Gosh, it's so pretty. Number 227, Volage. Number 217, uh, radio, Radius, Radius, we'll go with that. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. 138, Fugazi. <laughs> this is a pretty kind of pinky coral shade right there. Getting on to the last leg here. I'm moving on to uh, Bite Beauty. This this is the shade uh, Blush. Um, this one is pretty old. I think this is one of the very first uh, Bite Beauty lipsticks that I had ever purchased. I think I got it at a Sephora down in Phoenix. <laughs> um, this one is Vento. It's a little bit more sheer. These have lasted very, very well, too, for being kind of that... Um, I don't know if it's not organic, but they say they're edible, right? <laughs> not that I eat them, but uh, Retsina. That was a real popular one. Right there. Kava. And then we have got Bouquet. This next one is Sorbet, followed by Lavender, and it's like, they're, it's a little bit more sheer. It looks kind of, you know, intense in the tube, but it doesn't go on so, so intense. And then we have got Cream Deluxe Lipstick, Rouge à Lèvres, Cream de Deluxe. Wow, uh, no name on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what this is. See this one too. It's like a it's like a wearable, more sheer type of color. Can you guys see what the heck the name is on that? I don't know. Uh, uh Quinta. This is one of their multi sticks and this is in gelato. Which I could totally go for some gelato right now. That's very similar to, I feel like, uh, kind of like kava. Then we have got spritzer. I know these are some of the new ones. Spritzer's a bit much. 
I'm gonna set spritzer. Well, these these last these lipsticks last so well. Ah, uh, souffle. This is beautiful. One of my favorite to layer. This is the shade Opal. I believe this was a limited edition, but I layered this a lot with a few different shades, and it kind of gave it that multi-dimensional purpley bluish type of a shift to it. Super pretty. Then we've got Blanc. Followed by Merengue, right here. And then the last of the bite is Sugarcane, right here. Okay, now we've got four of these Lancome. They are the Shine Lovers. I really like these lipsticks. I don't know if they still sell them or not, but I really like them. Uh, 314. There's one of those super easy to wear lip products. Uh, 212. Then we've got 310. I got these. I got the majority of the majority of these when I was down in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> 316. They're just super easy to wear lip products there. And then I've got two of these Dior uh, Rouge Bombs. I've got 288 uh, Bluette. And then I've got 468 and that's in the shade uh, Spring. Right there. Gosh, that's pretty. I've got two of these newer uh, Makeup Forever lipsticks. I've got number C105, which is a real brownie nude. That's C105. And then I've got C302, which is a coral color. I really I like these lipsticks. I wish they came out with a li some some more like wearable shades, but I love the original Makeup Forever ones, or the ones that were prior to the, that formula, which are these guys. I've got four of those. I've got N18. Right there. N4. Um, N21, which I wore, I used to wear this a lot. So pretty. That's N21, and then N52. These are the Rouge Artist ones. Such a nice formula, that's N52. Then I've got one of these Pretty Vulgars, which stunning packaging here. This is in Bury Them With A Smile. <laughs> right there, it's kind of a satin matte finish, but this packaging is just gorgeous. These are a bunch of glued together, um, cut in half, MAC lipstick boxes is what I was using to hold those together. Here is an Urban Decay Juicy Metalized Lipsticks from the Naked Cherry Collection. I think it's so pretty. Metallic is in this season, oh yeah. Okay, let's go on to Urban Decay. Um, these are a lot of their Vice lipsticks. So here is Gwen Stefani, Ex-Girlfriend. Right there. Followed by Heat Wave, which is a metalized from their summer collection last year. And we've got Abstract from the Jean-Michel Basquiat collection. That looks very similar to one of those MAC lipsticks from part one, doesn't it? Then we have got Morning After, which is a sheer finish. I really like this one. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> this next one is Brat, and that's a sheer as well. Then we have got uh, Peyote, which is a metalized. This is a fun one. Followed by Gubby, which is also a metalized. I love this one. This is Asphyxia and it's a cream. It's like a duochrome. I like to layer that with pinks. Like, kind of like that. 
usually with a little bit lighter pink than that one, but then we've got 100 Degrees, which is a sheer finish from Urban Decay's summer collection last year. I really like this one. This is a really easy to wear, like, orangey red. And then you've got Snitch, which is a sheer finish. This is beautiful. And then we have got ZZ, which is a cream. Followed by Alice, which is a sheer shimmer. It's kind of got a slight pinky duochrome shift to it, that one. And then we've got Weirdo, which is a cream. Right there. And then the last three of the Urban Decay, we've got Fuel, which is a cream. Right here. And then we have got Tower One, which is a metalized. This is pretty. This is from last year's summer collection. And then we have got Ready with a question mark, which is a metalized kind of a red burgundy right there. Next up is one of my absolute favorite lipstick formulas ever. I adore this formula. These are the Buxom Bold Gel Lipsticks. I love these. They have a magnetized packaging, but the formula of these is just stunning. So this first one is Poison Nectar. Then we have got Coral Confession. Followed by Rebel Rose. Pink Coquette is this next one. And these smell like vanilla too, they're just divine. And then we've got Guilty Angel, which is probably where I'm most worn. I actually have another one of these two that's almost finished that I carry around. That's uh, Guilty Angel, love that. And then the last one that I have of those is Wicked Pink. But then I've got a Laura Mercier uh, Rouge Nouveau lip color and this is in the shade Koi. Koi is actually the name of one of our studs, but <laughs> that one. And then I've got two Shiseidos. This is PK415. I remember when I got these. I got these down in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Camelback Mall. Crazy. 415. Love that. And then the other one is 214. PK214. This is a little bit lighter. Baby pink. Right there. Then I've got two of these Bare Minerals lipsticks. These are from the Gen Nude collection. I've got the shade Crush. Right there. Which these had recently gone on sale. I think I saw them on Hot Look or something. But And then the other shade I got is Baby. Right there. I've got a Bobbi Brown over here. This is Pink Cloud number 14. It's another pretty lipstick. Then I'll get into the Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I used to have a whole bunch more Marc Jacobs lipsticks and I just decluttered a ton of them. So these are the ones I still have. I've got 104 Dizzy Spell. I love this one. Then we have got number 102 Strange Magic. Right there. Followed by 108 Have We Met. And 106 Moody Margo. Uh, 214 Georgie Girl. Right there. And then the last one, which I love this one. This was a limited edition. Uh, 270 Perfect. Right there. And then lastly for the top shelf, I've got these uh, Dior lipsticks in a varying array of their uh, Addict formula. So I've got Dior Addict 451 right here. I think this is, is this a Shine Dior Addict 451 Chabale. Not sure. And then I've got Dior Addict Lacquer Stick in 202 Stargirl. Oh gosh, you guys. This is so pretty. This is just 
can we just it's got a duochrome finish to it that is just out of this world that's 202 star girl 437 charmante this is pretty too oh i just i can't even that star girl shade is so pretty that's charmante number 437 then we've got 465 cruise it's this kind of a one right there that's Cruise, followed by 561 Wonderful. This is an this is one of the shiny ones. It's got it has a CD kind of in the middle. It's rubbed off a little bit, but more of a sheer finish on that one. So that's 561 Wonderful. And then I've got 550 Tees right here. That one's T's, got a little bit more color to that one. Then I've got 457 Candid right here. That's so pretty. So pretty. So those are the Dior Attics I got. So here they all are all kind of organized. However, a bit of a dilemma because these little fellows don't have a home right now. Those little fellows are hitting the road, and my mom already got a, uh, her hands on that pile, so some of those are missing already. She she wanted them, so um, there's the mischievous one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.